Inside a dense industrial pipe gallery, a worker applies force to a valve on a sealed line without knowing what energy is still trapped inside. Never ever loosen, strike, or open a valve, blind, or access cover unless the system has been fully isolated, depressurized, and verified at zero energy. Pressurized systems store energy in compressed fluid. When a valve or cover is forced open, that energy releases instantly along the weakest path. The sudden pressure drop accelerates fluid and components outward, creating a high force discharge that rapidly fills the surrounding space overwhelming the area in an instant. Pressure doesn't leak slowly when it fails. It unloads. Lock out the system, bleed it to zero, verify with gauges and vents, and clear the area before opening any pressurized equipment. If pressure is assumed instead of proven, the hazard is already active. In a busy auto workshop, a car hangs on a lift, then the balance starts to lie. Never, ever stand, walk, or work beneath a raised vehicle unless the lift is correctly positioned, mechanically locked, and verified stable before anyone enters the bay. A vehicle lift supports weight through narrow contact points and locking mechanisms. If an arm is mispositioned or a lock isn't fully engaged, the center of gravity shifts outside the support base. Gravity then converts the vehicle's mass into downward momentum, initiating uncontrolled movement that the lift structure cannot counter once stability is lost. Elevated vehicles are suspended loads. Confirm lift arm placement, engage mechanical locks, raise slowly, and clear the area before working nearby. If a load is overhead, the hazard is active, even when everything looks normal. On a roadside unloading job, a forklift lifts long beams while someone becomes part of the balance equation. Never ever use people as counterweights, stabilizers, or load control for forklifts or lifting equipment. A forklift stays upright only when its center of gravity remains inside the stability triangle formed by its wheels and counterweight. Long or elevated loads shift that center forward and upward. When human weight is added instead of engineered ballast, stability becomes unpredictable. Once the center of gravity crosses the tipping line, gravity takes over instantly, and the machine pivots beyond the limits of control. People are not safety devices. Use rated counterweights, proper attachments, and correct load limits. If balance depends on a person standing on equipment, the lift has already failed before it moves. In a rough fabrication yard, a metal drum is treated as a quick work platform until residual energy inside the empty container is suddenly released. Treat every drum or container as potentially pressurized or vapor-filled. Verify it is empty, vented, cleaned, and certified safe before any hot work. And never use drums as platforms or supports. Even empty drums can hold fuel vapor or residue. Heat or sparks can ignite those vapors, and inside a sealed container, the gases expand rapidly, creating a sudden pressure spike. With limited venting, the drum behaves like a pressure vessel and fails suddenly, releasing stored energy outward at its weakest point. Hot work and unknown containers don't mix. Use proper work platforms, keep ignition sources away from drums, and only cut or weld on containers after verified cleaning, venting, and gas testing. On an uneven construction site, a mobile crane takes an overweight load, and suddenly, gravity gives the final answer. Never, ever rely on unstable ground, makeshift positioning, or unverified load paths when operating a crane, because gravity never negotiates. The crane is lifting with its boom extended over soft, uneven ground. As the load shifts, the center of gravity moves past the crane's stable base. Without enough ground support or outrigger stability, the soil compresses, the balance point is lost, and gravity takes control, overcoming the crane's ability to remain upright. Cranes don't fail suddenly. They fail when setup, ground conditions, and load physics are ignored. Check the ground. Verify the load radius. Fully deploy and support outriggers. Because once the balance is lost, the outcome is already decided. A ground cover of a landpipe is open on a busy worksite, and the surface instantly turns into empty space. Never, ever remove a cover or barrier unless the opening is fully protected, clearly marked, and controlled. A cover provides the only physical interruption between a worker and gravity. Once it's removed, even a small step or shift in balance eliminates the barrier to gravity, creating an uncontrolled vertical exposure. 
Openings don't forgive hesitation or distraction. Before any cover comes off, secure the area, block access, and treat every exposed opening as an active fall hazard. Inside a crowded wheel and tire workshop, a small e-scooter battery is being handled at a workbench. Then the space fills with smoke in seconds. Never, ever work on lithium-ion batteries without isolation, proper containment, and fire-rated controls. Lithium-ion batteries store large amounts of energy in a compact space. When damaged, short-circuited, or improperly handled, internal heat builds faster than it can escape. This triggers thermal runaway, where the battery rapidly releases energy as heat and combustible gases. Once the runaway begins, it accelerates on its own and cannot be stopped by cutting power. Small batteries can create big hazards. If lithium-ion systems aren't treated like high-energy devices, they turn ordinary workspaces into ignition zones. Proper storage, correct tools, and fire-ready environments aren't optional. They're the only barrier between routine work and sudden disaster. In a warehouse aisle, a forklift rolls forward, but a worker is already occupying the space ahead. Never, ever drive a forklift with a load that blocks your view. If you can't see the path, you don't move. A forklift doesn't carry a load like a person. It becomes the load's moving base. If the driver can't see forward, the machine can unintentionally advance the load's leading edge into occupied travel space. With the truck's mass and momentum, there's almost no time to react once the path is compromised. The only real control is prevention, clear sight line, controlled speed, and a protected pedestrian zone. If the load blocks your view, travel in reverse or use a spotter. Keep pedestrians out of the aisle and treat every blind move as if the space ahead is already occupied. On a narrow household staircase, one misjudged step with a heavy bucket turns gravity into a fast-moving cascade that takes over the stairs. Carrying loose, heavy materials on stairs creates an uncontrolled flow hazard. Use sealed containers, maintain one-hand contact with the railing, and avoid moving bulk material on steep steps without proper control. Stairs act like a stepped chute. When a bucket tips, gravity immediately converts the material's weight into downward flow. Each step accelerates the movement as material contacts the surface, spreads, and continues downward. The shifting load also changes the carrier's center of gravity, reducing traction and balance at the same moment the footing surface becomes coated. Once the flow starts, friction drops sharply, and control is rapidly lost. Stairs amplify mistakes. Secure loads before climbing. Move materials in smaller sealed containers and keep one hand free for balance because once gravity takes control on steps, it doesn't slow down. A truck cab is tilted for maintenance, held in place by improvised support. Then the balance starts to shift. Never, ever work beneath or beside a tilted cab unless it is mechanically locked, fully supported and protected against sudden movement. A tilted truck cab stores gravitational energy. Its weight is held in position by hinges, hydraulic assist, or temporary supports. If those supports are incomplete, misaligned, or fail, the cab's center of mass shifts instantly. Once it passes the balance point, gravity overcomes the support system instantly. The resulting movement is rapid and driven entirely by mass and geometry beyond the limits of manual intervention. Tilted equipment is never stable by default. Before any work begins, lock the cab with approved restraints, remove people from the drop zone, and treat gravity as an active hazard, not a background force. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.